This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about Snowflake. I've been making videos of Snowflake in the past ever since it was trading at about $296. Today, it dropped to about $135 after they have announced their recent quarter results. A few weeks ago, I made a video where I have sold all of my Snowflake stock at $184 and made about a 30% gain. I have given multiple reasons of why I have sold my stock at 184, but this video is an extension of that video because they have given their earnings yesterday. Since the stock price is currently at $132, we need to decide whether it's a good entry point. And for that, we need to first understand why the stock fell about 6% today. And that is because they have given weaker than expected revenue guidance for next quarter. Even though they grew their revenue at about 60% plus this quarter, for the next quarter, they are only expecting 535 to $540 million of revenue, whereas the Wall Street was expecting about $553 million of revenue. Therefore, this weaker guidance has resulted in the stock price falling to about $135. Now I need to make an investing decision whether to buy the stock at this $135 or not. And for that, I need to make an evaluation of this company in future, usually five years out, but I'm going to do an evaluation for 2029 for Snowflake because the management has given a case. The management said they can achieve about $10 billion of revenue in 2029. But I'm going a step further and I'm saying that they can make about $12 billion of revenue in 2029. So this is an optimistic evaluation. So I want you to keep that in mind. If you look into the screen, I put the revenue of 2022, which is about 1.9 billion and they're on track to hit that 1.9 billion this year. So a 30% growth year on year for the next seven years will result in $12 billion of revenue. 30% year on year for seven consecutive years is extremely hard. So obviously they will have to grow much higher when they are small and as the years go by, they can grow a lot lo lot slower and then still achieve that 30% average growth. So when I assume that net profit margin of 30%, they can make about $3.6 billion of net income. Snowflake actually said they can make 25%, but I'm assuming 30%, just to give you how an optimistic case looks like. I have assigned a premium multiple of 30 because this company is growing at 30% rate and 30% net profit margin, right? So I've given a premium multiple of 30 with which this company would be worth about $107 billion in 2029. Now let's look at the number of outstanding shares. We do know that Snowflake is diluting the shareholders by giving a lot of stock-based compensation and they currently have about 320 million outstanding shares. And as they hand out more and more stock-based compensation, there will be more dilution. Remember that this company is not profitable yet. And therefore, I'm assuming about three to 4% stock dilution in which it's going to result in about 380 million outstanding shares in 2029. I'm thinking this is actually optimistic. They may dilute us further, but this is my estimation. So. When I divide this $107 billion of market cap with 380 million outstanding shares, the share price would be about $282. So the price target is $282 in 2029. Currently it's at 130, right? So it's just about 2x in seven years with execution risk. As I said before, Snowflake is only saying they can make 10 billion, but I'm assuming 12 billion. They said net profit margin of 25%. I'm assuming 30%. And I have also given a premium multiple of 30. So with a lot of optimistic assumptions built in, this is giving me a 2x reward with a lot of execution risk. So I don't think $132 is an entry point for Snowflake. I would at least wait for this to fall below 80 or so, so I can at least look at a 3.5x. So the bottom line is, the stock is still expensive. Just look at the price to sales ratio. Even after falling to $135, it has a price to sales more than 25. That is ridiculously expensive. I don't know what people are thinking when buying this stock, but overall, these are my thoughts. I'm not a buyer at $135. I would think about this if it falls below $80.